So I'm at a house that we did a fix and flip on. We bought this house with cash. Uh, the seller, two things. One, the seller was in a hurry, and two, the seller did not believe that we could get it sold for the price that we're gonna sell it for uh, after we did this remodel. So what you're seeing here, all new siding, new windows, a new gate to this carport, uh, just really, really made this look a lot better. The roof we had certified, so instead of spending the money on a brand new roof, the old roof was about 10 years old, and uh, for a little over $1,000, I had a guy come look at it, and he is providing a five-year certification to the roof. So inside, uh, it's same stuff we always use, right? We've, we've got it staged with the same kind of stuff. We've got the same agreeable gray SW7029 wall color, flat white ceiling paint. Uh, we opened this wall up. This wasn't big and open like this, so we did open that up. Uh, all new cabinets, uh, shake, white shaker style cabinets with some white quartz and some stainless steel appliances. So we're just kind of following the formula that we always follow and it's proved to work well. In this house, our strategy was to create a living unit in the basement, it's kind of like a mother-in-law suite or like a illegal Airbnb type situation for the buyer. So the buyer can try to use the basement to bring in some income. Now this isn't zoned to be a duplex, so that's not the not, not the situation, but oftentimes just making it so it can be used as a separate living unit can really increase the value. And that's where we're getting our big value out here. If I were to guess, we are making this house worth about $150,000 more than it used to be. And we're spending somewhere around $70,000 to get that $150,000 boost. So huge, extra gains by flipping this particular property. And uh, that's why we're able to give the seller uh, the amount of cash that they they wanted and still have it be a really good deal for us. So we added this. This just was a normal living room. I added this. We um, put the power in for a stackable washer dryer and the duct work and the drain and water lines there. So now we have a laundry unit upstairs. And the laundry room downstairs is for the downstairs unit, which we're about to look at, right? So up here, we did our typical bathroom remodel. If you've been paying attention to, to me for a while, you, this is gonna look pretty familiar. Same kind of tile, same look as we always do. Not a big deal here, just kinda new doors, new door hardware, new light fixtures, new windows laminate floors, just doing what we always do and doing it again. And by doing the same remodel over and over and over, not only can we get predictable results because we have a predictable, you know, we know how the market re responds to these finishes, but it's also easier to get done. Less communication, um, everybody involved with getting the work done has done this plenty of times and we're just doing the same remodel over and over. Now this will look different to you. The reason this flooring is existing, I did not put new flooring in, those cabinets were existing. Now there was no drywall in this back wall. This was just kind of a utility room where they stuck some cabinets in, in, on, in here and the countertop was all banged up. We just got a new countertop, put it on the old cabinets. We drywalled the walls, right? This was just exposed concrete. Now it's furred out a little bit with, with uh, drywall and we drywalled the ceiling. The ceiling used to be kind of a falling down half, like it was kind of a half finished, not finished room, right? But now it's a finished kitchen and because it's a basement unit, we can get away with this, right? No one's gonna pay a lot of money to live in someone's basement. Uh, so it just really, didn't make sense to put a lot of money into this. So we we made it a very functional kitchen. We got a fridge here, stackable washer dryer, stove. We we did not spend the money for new cabinets and a dishwasher because all we're going for is clean and working and we achieved that for the least amount of money doing what we, what you just saw there. So here we have a basement bathroom. Again, probably looks pretty familiar to you. Same stuff. We get the mirrors, light fixtures, faucets off of Amazon. Um, get the tile from the same supplier here in town. It's very basic. You can get this in almost any town. It's just a 12 by four uh, white tile with beveled porcelain tile with a half inch beveled edge around the outsides. 
but uh, just a bathroom like we normally have. This was a room without a closet. So this, we kind of, we scabbed this on. We added a closet here so that we could have a legitimate closet. You'll notice you know, the ductwork is just painted here. It's not even in a soffit. Uh, you can get away with that in a basement bedroom. So it wasn't worth spending the money to enclose that. Uh, I should, so before, there was a door here to an unfinished room and then double doors here into this unfinished closet. So we got rid of these double doors. We put drywall in these walls and finished this room to make it a legitimate bedroom, you know, minus the egress windows. And then we added this door into what used to be a storage room and that's now our closet. So now we have two bedrooms in the basement and a kitchen. So someone could use this to bring in some money to help pay for their mortgage. But that's our key play in this, uh, in this house to get it sold for the most money. So if you go back and look at some of the older videos, you'll be able to see what this looked like before we did the remodel. But uh, we just got done looking at it so you know what the finished product looks like. Um, if you wanna learn how to flip houses, to do fix and list deals, kind of to rip off and duplicate my business model. If you want to see all the numbers and the contracts and the behind the scenes of this, this house and this project and all my other projects, consider joining our mentorship group. Uh, just head over to selfmadeflipper.com to join that group. It's $197 a month. And for that price, you get your website and step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up Google ads and Facebook ads to bring in motivated seller leads. So I'll show you how to set up your lead generation system the same way I have mine set up so that you can rip off and duplicate my business model and use it in your own market. So again, that's uh, selfmadeflipper.com. Thanks for watching.